गाइज वट्स आप सो वट विल बी स्लाइटली ऑफ ट्रैक वीडियो एंड बेसिकली आई वॉट हैव डन इज एनालिस ऑफ प्रिलियम्स टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन ऑफ ऑगस्ट ओके इट वॉज हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑगस्ट लास्ट ईयर एंड आई एम एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट बिकॉज मैनी ऑफ पीपल आर आस्किंग दैट एक्चुअली आर एन अकेडमी वीडियोज हेल्पफुल और दे आर नॉट एट ऑल हेल्पफुल और सम वॉट हेल्पफुल और वेयर दे स्टैंड सो लेट सी लाइक पीपल मैनी पीपल हैव आस्ड मी लाइक इफ एनी थिंग कम्स एट ऑल फ्राम दीज वीडियोज आई जस्ट मैं ज्ञान बांटता रहता हूँ एंड नथिंग एट ऑल कम्स फ्राम इट एंड पीपल आर नॉट बेनिफिटिंग फ्राम इट दैन आई डोंट नो आई एम आई डूइंग दिस बट एनी वे सो सिंस पीपल हैव आस्ड मी सो आई एक्चुअली ट्राई इट सिंस आई एम वेरी वेरी साइंटिफिक पर्सन सो आई डिड नॉट इमोशनल आई डिड नॉट गॉट इमोशनल एंड आई डिड सम साइंटिफिक एनालिसिस एंड दैन आई डिड दैट कम्प्लीटली एंड आई शेयर दैट रिपोर्ट विद यू so anyway I completely analyzed the prelims CSAT paper वन uh, obviously I did not deal with paper टू before that date which was conducted on ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन सो वट इज़ द वे आई स्टार्टड मेकिंग द वीडियोज़ इन ऑगस्ट सो लेट्स इन ऑगस्ट आई मेड अराउंड ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन वीडियोज सो एंड द पेपर वॉज हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑगस्ट सो हाउ मेनी वीडियोज वर एक्चुअली इन्वॉल्व इन क्वेश्चन इन दस पर्टिकुलर टाइम सो आई मेजरली मेड टू वीडियोज ऑन एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी सेक्शन and i made three videos on like tips and tricks regarding two were on doomsday video like what to do on prelims day and one was on uh, what to do two weeks before the examination and finally there were eight videos six were on ancient history uh, two were on ancient history and six were on indian culture and art so art and culture video so these are the total videos and five were on world history so obviously world history we will not include because it is related to prelims now moving forward so this is your study analysis okay it's a very 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 in depth analysis of what an aspirant goes through through his life so let's say there are 100 questions in prelims paper 1 at least last 4 years 100 questions since 2011 since the pattern change in prelims so in my case i got 72 correct and 28 wrong and i got 125.33 marks how does that occur because the one third marking 28 is divided by 3 you minus that from 72 so answer is 62.66 that is what is called as net correct or net now you multiply by 2 so you will get the final score so the net correct in my case was 62.66 which is decent fairly good and top 1% score you can say easily so for these marks an average aspirant will take either one attempt studying two years or at least two attempts Uh, so at least two years of total study time, either it's first attempt doesn't matter. So it will be coming about to seven thirty days. Okay. Now assume that you have average hours of eight hours per day that you have studied. So the total hours will be equals to seven thirty into eight. That will be equals to roughly six thousand hours. Because obviously you'll study more on weekends and holidays and all. So even if you study for less than a year. and you can get these marks i'm not saying you can't but you need to be exceptionally intelligent for that and if you are even then in your case the number of total hours will remain more or less same you will might be putting 12 to 14 hours on regular days and 16 hours on the weekends and holidays so so assuming the number of hours will be remaining constant in such a score now assume that there is considerable overlap between prelims and mains preparation Every, everybody knows that but still assume that 600 हंड्रेड आवर्स आर सोलली डेडिकेटेड टू मेन्स प्रिपरेशन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एयर एस से और आंसर राइटिंग और एथिक्स एक्सेट्रा सिक्स हंड्रेड आवर्स आर सोलली डेडिकेटेड टू मेन्स प्रिपरेशन सो द नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल नॉट स्कोर मोर देन सिक्सटी नेट करेक्ट आंसर इज दैट एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट ओके मोस्ट ऑफ यू आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट टॉप वन परसेंट मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल नॉट गेट मोर देन सिक्सटी नेट करेक्ट सो जूम दैट इज योर टारगेट टू गेट अ वन ट्वेंटी स्कोर इन जी एस वन विच इज वेरी वेरी ऑसम स्कोर बाय द वे so you will be having around 5400 hours left for study because 600 hours are dedicated for mains these are for mains as well as for prelims combined it can have impact on your prelims result absolutely understood okay so on an average you will spend about 90 hours per correct question because you are spending 4500 hours on 60 questions so that is 90 hours per correct questions and 90 hours is also equals to 5400 minutes okay Now, what do you do actually in these five thousand four hundred minutes? Most of the time, I'm not telling all the time. Most of the time, we attend some stupid classes where the cost-benefit ratio is very, very low, or we spend time in reading what extremely low-yield material like India Yearbook, like big, big manuals of GS manuals, like twelve hundred to fifteen hundred pages. आते हैं उसमें से दस क्वेश्चन हैं, 
thick thick textbooks like in uh, india after gandhi or vipin chandra's independence they are very very thick book or manor by year book so they are very very thick textbooks the cost benefit ratio just is very very low cba is very very low not high yield very very low yield material or reading the same topic from multiple material from different different coachings so this is how most of the time of most of the aspirants is spent out of these 5400 hours now for prelims 2014 csat that is paper 1 csat is not paper 2 csat is the combined test 100 questions came okay now considering that 60 nets correct is a good score for most of us it is a very very good score at least for me it's a very very good score so between 1st to 24 august i made like three videos on tips and general tricks I already told you eight videos on ancient history and art and culture and two videos on environment and ecology let's assume they directly impact your prelims exam obviously these three videos have zero tutorial significance no question will come from it directly but you may be able to do 5 to 10 questions more by watching these videos by not getting tensed and what to do and what not to do now six videos were on world history which obviously do not impact your prelims result in any way now six questions came from the about 10 plus 3 tutorial in the examination so that is a decent achievement i think because 10 videos are these plus 3 tutorial so 13 tutorial six questions came from them now you could have easily solved i am saying easily solved 6 to 7 out of 100 questions in prelims of 2014 by solely watching these 10 videos if you have no not read anything at all like ancient history art and culture environment and ecology there were total 10 videos which were released before 24th august between 1st to 24th august and they will take combined time of less than 3 hours you can calculate so now for solving let's say six question only not even seven let's for six question you have less than 3 hours so that gives us 30 minutes earlier you were spending 5400 minutes per correct question now you are spending 30 minutes so i think there is a significant difference and you can get more out of these videos but anyway let's prove so one class in a typical coaching institute lasts for 2 and 1/2 hours and you actually know batane ki kya baat hai sabko pata hi ki kitne question aate hain from one class 10 10 class nikal jati hai koi question nahi aata everybody knows the 10 10 class passes by and not not a single question comes from it and you actually also know how much you actually remember from each one of them how of the time we are sleeping like been there done that so now moving forward so till now i have made these videos on art and culture they were just uploaded within 6 days six videos were uploaded and like five questions came from the art and culture section alone and these were these videos so you can see these videos and I, these are the total list they deal with first four classical dance next four classical dance these are bharatnatyam kathak kathakali satriya satriya of assam and these four are mohini attam manipuri and the rest two dances ek kuchipudi and odc now this introduction video deals with the sources and all of indian class now friendly philosophy deals with the six schools of philosophy now buddhism deals with obviously buddhism and this deals with jainism and charvak and ancient history first is the sources second is indus valley civilization so you can see these videos and they are all there now most of you will not believe ki bhai check question aaye the kahan se aaye the we can't see all the videos so i have taken the leverage of taking those exact clips and showing it so this was the question 1 and it deals with which pair does not form the part of the sixth system of indian school it's straight forward question and you can see that lokayat is charvak and kaplika is not at all school so answer will be c and i have just shown the clips so this is the portion you can see nyay vishesika samkhya yoga purva mimamsa and vedanta so these are the six orthodox schools while the heterodox which are not considered traditionally part of india is lar jain buddhist and charvak अब कुछ बोल रहे होंगे उसमें भी कि चारवाक का आपने लोकायत तो बताया नहीं बताया था भाई यू कैन सी हेयर दैट चारवाक इज कॉल्ड एज लोकायत एवरी वेयर आई हैव टॉक्ड सो दिस वाज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस वाज द सेकंड क्वेश्चन इट केम फ्रॉम एंशंट हिस्ट्री 1.1 दैट इज व्हाट इज द नेशनल मोटो ऑफ इंडिया सत्यमेव जयते एंड इट इज टेकन फ्रॉम मुंडक उपनिषद आई विल शो यू द एग्जैक्ट स्लाइड वेयर इट इज फ्रॉम यू कैन आल्सो चेक आउट द वीडियो इट्स नॉट अ बिग डील सो एज यू कैन सी हेयर मुंडक उपनिषद text talks about satyamev jayate straight away it is written there so if you have watched it you will get it correct other it is very very difficult to get correct such questions because we usually do not read them now question 3 was from art and culture video 2.2 that is with reference to famous satriya dance consider the following statements i'll admit it is not a extremely direct question but if you have 
listened to me properly 100% of the time will get it correct satri has a combination of music dance and drama so obviously it is correct because you can see here that uh, obviously music is here dance is obviously it is a dance and it is talking about mythological stories which are nothing but a form of drama anyway i have talked about in the video you can listen to the video so the first is correct now it is a centuries old living tradition of vaishnavites of assam so assam is absolutely correct you can take a bit leverage of vaishnavites by the way I do talk about in the video but anyway you can assam is written everywhere so you can just leave the slide back and it is based on classical ragas and talas of devotional songs so it is absolutely like picked up from here as you can see classical ragas like it is written there the word is written there so i don't think you need more than that plus if you have slightly more knowledge you must be knowing that tulsidas uh, these people more or less they are vaishnavites mirabai obviously she was uh, krishna bhakti and all so she is a vaishnavite so both all the three answers are correct so this is almost a direct question from the satriya video which he usually will not read that is the point all the three answers which you will not read in general are being correct so now question number 4 which came from art and culture video 3.2 that is buddhism it is a, it is an indirect question but you can still answer it see uh, buddha was associated with following kingdoms associated okay so gandhar is not at all an answer because gandhar is like the present day afghanistan plus pakistan like everybody knows that because gandhar art it is mixture of greco roman art so greco roman influence cannot be new p and vyana it can only be in that region where actually alexander and all like astenis people they used to come so afghanistan plus pakistan so this goes out of the window so you can easily eliminate two so this is this is wrong so answer can be either a c or d now obviously magadh empire deals with the up and, uh, and as you have seen that he was born in uh, lumbini and uh, he died in kushinara so magadh is obviously an integral part of it so answer cannot be a also so either it can be c or d now i have talked about uh, avanti is not directly talked about but in ancient history at one place i do mention it that like uh, avanti buddha never went to avanti directly but his successor went so i do not know what is the meaning of but associated in it like if upsc interprets otherwise uh, it can be either c or d depending upon what is the interpretation of c he never went personally but his disciple his successor went there so i don't know how it will be interpreted and anyway you can read it here from numbini nepal this is the magadh magadh empire and kushinara up is heart of magadh empire and the co and you obviously know gandhar cannot be there because he is roaming around up bihar so you can see these places obviously you need to have an open mind and this is the question 5 art and culture video 2.1 like exact statement if you just play that video you will know ki i have speaking exact these words ki commit this word to memory it will come in the examination 4 days before the examination obviously i have not said the paper so what is kalari payattu uh, i'll just uh, go straight away to that slide and you can see here kalari payattu is an ancient martial art of kerala so just you can read it here it's an ancient martial art and living tradition so there is absolutely no other which comes close and it's not a bronze and brass work it's not a bhakti cult it's not a dance drama it's a ancient martial art so answer is d it's absolutely straight forward otherwise very difficult to get correct now sixth question is absolutely straight forward environment ecology video 1.2 you can go to 18 minute and 53 seconds and you will see this lichens i talk about their ecological succession in by the way at 7 minutes 53 seconds in environment and ecology high yield series video 1.1 so you can actually go there and you can listen to me talking that lichens are the first to invade they are the first species also called as pioneer species so they are symbiotic association of algae and fungi so answer is very very simple answer is b and you can see the slide 1853 this is the you can easily see i have written it here that lichen is equals to algae plus fungi i was talking also and you can easily listen to me in that anyway this is the seventh question it is not directly came from it but still you can eliminate two options straight away mohini attam i talk about in extreme detail that it is from kerala not odisha so answer two cannot be correct so this is this goes out of the window this goes out of the window and most of you if you have heard about me in somewhere i did talk about yakshagana i can't like 
tell you the exact point if you listen to all the videos before that you will know that point that yakshagada came from karnataka so if you know that 3 is correct and 2 is not correct so answer automatically becomes 1 and 3 and garba in gujarat is a very common knowledge it's not special knowledge so answer is c so these seven questions could be directly attempted from this video as you can see mohini attam i am talking about it it is kerala as you can see the word kerala here anyway so what are the tips and tricks tutorials i made three of them before the prelims examination obviously i cannot quantify the impact of these videos ki bhai isme se itne question aa gaye itne aapne sahi kar diye itna aapka fayda ho gaya 10% fayda ho gaya or you got benefited 5% it is very very difficult no one can but uh, i think these videos made you help deal with what to do on your prelims day i just think i hope so i think the choice is yours matlab i really can't force you matlab it's up to you totally like either you want to spend 5000 4 minutes per correct question which most of us including me did that like i also did i was also the culprit because it, they did not existed at that time or you just want to spend 30 minutes per correct question and obviously you have to do that study as well but if you can like agar malai mil rahi hai upar se to kyun nahi so that is my question but still the choice is yours so can't i can't really say if the videos are actually helping you but i just hope i can hope can't i so please comment below and tell me how are you getting benefited from an academy videos and do let me know it's very very personal to me that it actually benefits and then only there is point in making otherwise there is no point in making them so obviously you know where to comment or uh, below the youtube video and uh, not on the facebook this time or you can also tweet at my twitter handle at roman zani showing your support and please spread the word if there is any word left especially for those who cannot afford coaching and guys do support and no thank you for watching this video no thanks this time good night